sun came out. If you are not familiar with my channel, you probably don't know that I love to go motorcycle camping. And even though my motorcycle camping is not extreme, it's not glamorous, uh, it's pretty simple. I do like to keep it simple. I have really, really been entertaining the idea of getting a trail behind motorcycle camper. As you can see, I don't currently have one, but I would very much like to talk about some things. God, I just can't stop looking at my bike, man. Okay, I'm gonna quit looking at it and go ride it. Let's go. So yeah, if you guys are not familiar with the channel, like I said earlier, you'll know that I, I enjoy motorcycle camping, preferably tent camping. I do like being comfortable in tents. And when you are motorcycle camping, you have a lot of gear that you have to bring with you that you can't just leave on your motorcycle. So I like having a tent because it means I can bring all of my gear and my little modern luxuries in with me and they're out of the elements. I also enjoy hammock camping. I do have a Lawson hammock that I've been camping with multiple times and it's also very comfortable, just a little bit limited on space. And like I said, I don't, I'm not like a, a huge adventurer. I don't like to rough it very often when I go camping. I'm, I'm just kind of not into that style of camping, but I still enjoy getting outside, traveling and experiencing different things that just comes with the nature of camping. So I am not going to lie. I actually have been, I've joined like a couple Facebook pages about people who have trail behind towing campers for their motorcycles. And I think I even joined a page where you can find them for sale. So I don't know. I'm, I'm not actively shopping for one. I kind of wanted to get on here and make this video first and talk to you guys. So if you have any experience or if you know anybody who uses a tow behind camper for their motorcycle, definitely let me know down in the comment section on like your lessons, your trials and tribulations and heck yeah, kid, get it. Because I, it, it, is, it is a whole new world to me, all of that kind of stuff. I just, I don't know, man, I love camping. I love motorcycle camping, but I also like being in luxury. And one of the biggest reasons, probably the main reason why I'm even having these thoughts and these ideas is because if you're familiar with anywhere on the East Coast, anywhere east of the Mississippi, we do not have public camping land. So if you go camping, you have to go to either a private campground, um, you have to go to national forests or state parks and stuff like that. But a lot of those campgrounds cater more towards campers, like RV style campers. And to me personally, camping in a bunch of little like, and it's basically a trailer park, camping in that kind of environment just isn't exciting to me. I don't look forward to it. I don't like seeing my neighbors and their big screen TVs and their screaming kids and their loud dog. Like I just, that's not exciting for me, but I kind of have to do with what I have. And fortunately for me, you know, I ride a 900 pound bagger. I can't just go off on into the wilderness to some of these private campgrounds and some of these amazing campgrounds are quite literally miles and miles and miles down like some treacherous gravel roads or you have to ride through cornfields and stuff like I just can't do that on my bike and I, there are badasses out there who can I am not one of them I am very much a tarmac rider and that's just what I enjoy that's what I'm good at and that's what I'm gonna stick to so having a tow behind camper for my motorcycle seems like the perfect idea. You still get to go outside and experience the outdoors and go hang out with your friends or shoot, I can take mine all the way to New York when I go to Babes Ride Out. And that's actually the very first time I saw a real life camper. I was at Babes Ride Out this past June in uh, New York and there was a girl there who had a big pop-up camper and she it just looked so cool. I was 110% incredibly envious when I saw that. Even though I had a very wonderful, accommodating camping setup, uh, I still wanted to sleep in a camper. So that is like, I'm not gonna lie, that's something I have genuinely been entertaining the thought of. And I think the only thing holding me back right now is A, 
just can't justify that kind of purchase when I don't actually go camping that often anymore. And B, where the hell would I put it? Like my yard is already getting filled up with all of our projects and partnerships and pieces. And I, I don't know where I would put a camper, but that's just, yeah, that's something I've been thinking about. And then I wanted to have this other conversation with you guys. It's winter, obviously. I try not to talk about the weather on here too much because it's incredibly boring, but it is winter. I do live in Ohio and this is a motorcycle channel. <laughs> it's, obviously it's a little bit challenging sometimes to continue to get out and have fun and create content on two wheels twice a week, every week, like I do. Obviously it's doable. I've been doing it for two years, but I kind of wanted to ask you a question of just, would you be interested in any four wheel content? And I'm not saying that it would replace the channel. Just, okay, let me explain. I have been absolutely smitten with the brand new Ford Bronco since the day it was announced. I mean, that thing just captured my imagination like no other car has done since I've been a driver. And I think Ford, and I've never driven one, um, I'm sure there are growing pains. It's a new first gen and there's all of that jazz, but I am just so thankful. Ford hit the nail on the head with that Bronco by offering it in a manual transmission. You guys, you know, I sold my manual transmission about four months ago and we bought our truck my husband and i bought a chevy silverado and i genuinely don't know how we've existed for so long without a truck as adults so that has completely changed our life but i miss having my stick shift man and i hate admitting that but i really miss having a stick shift in my life and now that i've gone you know four by four like now that i have gone four wheel drive i can't not not have that anymore so the ford bronco has just oh, it has been so exciting to me because like i think that would be the perfect vehicle for myself personally i would truly love to get my hands on a four-door manual transmission it has seven speeds so your standard six speed and then a crawl mode and dude I just like dream of all of the camping and the fun like outdoorsy stuff that I could do with the channel with a with a vehicle like that and I just first of all I don't have the money for something like that so that's like red flag number one number two is I don't want to do something like I don't want to change the content of my channel and that will never happen this channel is called Her Two Wheels for a reason, and it is all about my love and my passion for riding motorcycles, any motorcycle, any two wheels. Oh, I hear some? So that would never change. But in these winter months, I'm wondering if you guys would be cool if we were to do some like winter camping in a vehicle like that. I'm not saying that it would be a Ford Bronco, but just a vehicle like that. Because it's just been, it has been a the top of my mind lately man and now that i'm seeing more broncos out and about i'm like damn god they're so good looking but dude just like i'm just imagining the kind of camping and the kind of like luxury items i could bring with me if i had a tow behind camper i haven't done too much research on them i have no idea what it would be like to ride with one i know they're on like a ball joint axis essentially so but like i wouldn't know that i would want to take one you know down the tail of the dragon and stuff like that but oh man just thinking of like sleeping with luxury while traveling and camping and not having to get everything off of the motorcycle pitch a tent in the you know like I just, man, I, <laughs> the more I think about it, the more I'm like, oh yeah, I would travel to a lot more events if I could just camp along the way. And as nice as it is when you're traveling, just being able to, you know, rent a hotel room for the night and get a hot shower and a good sleep, man, that shit adds up quick. And you know, there are so many other motorcyclists out there that travel and that is their way of sleeping and traveling is by camping every single night i have no idea how y'all do that i'm way 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 too lazy but i'm actually just like talking out of my ass here because i don't i don't know how long it takes to set up a pop-up camper or how you pack or you know anything like that i have no idea about the 
mechanics of it. I just know that I'm lazy and I want something easier and more comfortable because why not? I also feel like it would be a smidge safer. And that is probably just completely my imagination running away with this idea. But I do feel like it would be a little bit safer. You know, you're up off the ground and just, uh, yeah, I don't know. You're still sleeping in a net essentially, but that's my idea. But yeah, dude, that Ford Bronco, oh man, I'm just dreaming about it. I'm just dreaming of getting like a little trailer I could put my Dyna on and just like a rooftop tent. And that's it. Like seriously, that's all I would need, man. The, the vehicle itself is so well equipped, even stock. You don't have to have the Sasquatch package or anything crazy. It is a, it's a real beast. And like I said, Ford knocked it out of the park, man. So I'm just dreaming of that car. I am truly dreaming of that car. But I also have an issue with first gens. Yeah, I'm sorry if that thumbnail freaked you out for a quick minute. Uh, that's definitely Photoshop. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to see what it would look like. And I'm not going to lie, I'm stoked about it. Could, oh, could you imagine just like a cool little white camper? I would feel like a real nomad, like a real avatar traveling the world with my little camper on my sky bison <laughs> but yeah I, I feel bad because a lot of times when i travel you know you guys are commenting and they're like hey why don't you you know you, you offer up really good ideas for things that i could do and you're like why don't you you know travel down to florida to see your friends but camp the whole way and uh, i've never done it before um i also know that i can ride in one straight shot and get there so i don't usually break it up like that but I would love to camp. I'm honestly, <laughs> I'm really afraid of bears. And that's the reason when I went down to the Blue Ridge Parkway and did the Tale of the Dragon and experienced the Smoky Mountains, I didn't camp because I'm, I'm terrified of bears. And I don't have the proper experience or the knowledge of bear safety. Like, you know what I would do in bear safety? I would never camp at my campsite or I would never cook at my campsite. I would totally like go set up camp somewhere or stop and eat like before I got to my campsite and I just you know I'd have a fire I, I'd have some beer sure but like the actual food and dealing with getting your food up and safe and I just oh, I I don't want to do it it scares me I don't like dealing with wildlife which is total counterintuitive to camping so yeah that's that's a real thing and I, I don't I don't think I could ever camp out west in like grizzly country hell no dude I just I'd get a hotel for sure I don't want to risk myself and my safety and that's why I don't do a lot of camping stuff but I feel like I would just be a little bit safer if I were in a camper you know like you know fiberglass down at the bottom and you're not just hanging in a hammock like a little her two wheels burrito or laying on the ground completely trapped in a nylon tent I don't know it's a real thing I already get annoyed enough by raccoons and we have coyotes pretty bad in Ohio and I have definitely heard and experienced some coyotes while camping but I never really have food with me because I just don't like messing with it. If I do have food with me, I try to eat all of it. <laughs> it's, it is what it is. So yeah, let me know. Do you think I should get a camper? Don't, man, be careful what you say. Do you think I should get a Bronco? Definitely be careful what you say. <laughs> and no, for my Jeep, my Jeep fans out there, trust me, I, I know Jeep Wranglers come in manual transmission. I'm, I'm well aware, but I'm just not a Jeep person. And if I were to pick anything, it would definitely be the Ford Bronco. So there's that. But anyway, hey, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry if I got you with that thumbnail. I had a lot of fun doing that. It's just like when I modify my motorcycle, I like to Photoshop my mods before I actually do them so I can see what it looks like. And that's exactly what I did with the thumbnail. So thank you for watching. Until my next video, as always, you be good and I'll see you later.